Hey everybody, welcome back to Iratus Lord of the Dead. We're gonna pick off basically right where we left off. We have talents, I don't think we can spend anything on anything useful yet. Uh, in the graveyard, we have somebody training, we have somebody healing. And let's just get back into the dungeon. We're gonna be going up against an elite here. Somebody had an item that would help them against elites. I don't know if we have that person in the party. Do we want to leave the mummy in the party? I haven't used mummies a lot. From his position here, he can deal some physical damage. That's what I'm mainly concerned about. He can also deal uh, stress damage with most of his other attacks. Um, hmm. I'm going to throw our, our Banshee in for just dealing stress damage to the entire group. Everyone else should be okay. I wonder if I want to put our Bone Golem in. We'll keep it, we'll keep it like it is. And let's see what our fir first Elite brings us as far as pain and suffering here. Shouldn't be too bad. Okay, the Elite is the elite miner here, but we're probably going to want to prioritize the mad mage. Uh, he can deal some pretty serious group damage if I remember correctly. So I'm going to try to get him down first. I am going to go ahead and buff her up though with adore him. Yeah, that's the AoE that I'm kind of not digging so much. Let's break both of their armor. There we go. So the demolition expert's gonna throw some stuff at us. That's gonna explode. That's not very fun. Let's lower all their attack. This is just gonna kick her ass. We have to get that mage dead now. Like, right now. I need to heal him though too. Let's get him back to full. Perfect. Alright mage. We're coming for you. Because I don't think this debuff affects magical damage, it's just physical, which he's not going to do physical damage. Neither is this guy, but we're absorbing most of what he's tossing at us. Ooh, I hope there will still be enough left to reanimate. We increased the bomber's damage dealt and received, so I don't know if that's really great for us. Let's hit everybody with Rose for a lady. Extinction of life. Okay, everybody's insane. All right, good. Well, we finally took him out. Not as quickly as I would have liked. Didn't prevent a lot of damage on our bride. Let's just do our scream attack. Pretty easy. Another step towards my eternal kingdom. We have another one of these. A void pendant. Plus 16 spell power for Aratus. All enemies lose 8 initiative until the end of combat. That's actually really good. Alright, we need to put our bride in here. Let her heal up. We can take our bride out of here, and she's going to go into our party. But we have a few things we need to do. Oh, she has the <laughs> reduced damage. That would have been really useful in that situation, maybe. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to take this. Now, 
prove yourself worthy of my investment. And we're just going to go straight attack with her. All right, let's get her in here. I think we go ahead and we can put our skeleton back here. Let's level her up, though. I think we want to focus on just her dread. Lose 6 attack power and 12 evasion. My enemies are in for a Let's nasty go that way. surprise. And then she has stat attributes. We are going to... Let's give her some resistances and armor. Might be useful long term. We still don't have enough to really do much. We could probably get more digger souls if we build a wraith and sacrifice him. And I, I don't really use wraiths for anything, so using him to build a building is probably going to be our best bet. You've also probably noticed that if you're starting the game fresh, I've unlocked a lot more guys. I, I don't know why what I did in the in early access carried over to live. I don't like that really. I get that some people might be pissed off if all the progress they made during early access got wiped, but to me, when I play a beta test for like an MMO, I don't expect that character to stick around, you know? So I feel like I have all these units that might just be giving me a, a, an unfair advantage. I'm not sure how that's all balanced out. Uh, we also have alchemy here, which can be used as different things. We could take our body parts, and instead of making minions, we could do a few different things. So, transmutation, convert three parts of any type into a different part. Allows the transformation of three parts, uh, or brains, into health. So, if we have someone who's a little bit low on health, we could plug in some generic pieces here, and we could heal them up. Convert three parts of the same type and rarity to new items. See, some of this I've never experimented with before. Oh, but we can make specific things, apparently, too. Like, okay, say I make this weapon. A uh, skeleton will clean up this mess later. Okay. I, ah, the smell of successful alchemy. <laughs> I'm interested because I've never really experimented with with that system before. That's kind of new to me. It wasn't in the original release of the game that I played through. So we can give him a sword. Physical damage by 10. Increase all damage dealt by 5. Uh, that's going to go to her. That's actually incredible. Um, we should probably be focusing more on stuff like that. That being said, let's swap these two back out. Uh, who do I want training in here? Let's throw our our Dark Knight. I wish we could drag right from there. I don't like that we have to actually open up and go inside. Let's put our Dark Knight in there. Coffin filled with items. Armored plates reduce damage received by 10%. Burning Blood, the minion's attacks restore 15% of the damage dealt as Wrath. Bur Bull Skull, the minion starts their turn with the position of 1 or 2, they receive plus 5 Vigor. Let's go with... A dark yeah. collecting. Let's go with that. And I'm going to give that to him, so we're going to reduce his damage received, and he's doing more damage out, he's just become our super tank. Uh, here's a quest event. I don't know if we want to mess with our our first group. I don't know what's going to happen with this quest. It could become a battle. As you progress upon your journey towards your rightful dominance, you encounter an impressive mustering of resistance, a massive shuffling of feet, 
and your undead host comes across an even larger host of human slaves. A single dwarf taskmaster is at the end, or is at the head, grinning with darkened teeth as he wisps his thralls against you. For the first time in a long time, you realize that you're outnumbered. Um... Even if you run now, it'll be painful. Shit, we might be screwed here. We're taking in an unprepared squad against an elite, maybe a couple elites. This could be, this could be a squad wipe. The lesson here kind of is always take your most, most powerful units. Broke through his block, that's fine. She can't do anything from this back row except single target attack. We're gonna work on getting this guy to go crazy. We can screw up their order with the mummy. That's awesome. Now this guy's unlucky. Oh, shit. Okay, well, at least he's on fire, I guess. This is gonna be dicey. The burning damage just seems just to be pissing him off more than anything else. We need one of these guys to go crazy, like, ASAP. Oh, uh, we didn't need that. Accuracy way down there. He's out of position now to do his physical damage, which is horrendous and terrifying. Moves all debuffs from allies. Oh, it heals him. I was kind of hoping it would heal us, like heal the guys that removed the debuff from, but it only heals him, I guess. There we go. Insanity. Alright, this should help a little bit. I don't know how much. I'm fully set on losing most of these guys. I just want to come out of this victorious in some way. Oh, so close. Damn it. Become part of the breathless tide. Okay, we've set two of these guys on fire. That's gotta help, right? I need him to have a heart attack or to run away. Basically, at this point. Bombardment. Zombie attacks four times. It's really like all we could do. He's setting up for next turn, that's fine. Savor these last few heartbeats. Uh, shields up. What is that? Oh, he's trying to escape, but he also has shields up, so focusing on him is kind of going to be stupid at this point. Could hit him with some stress. He has no protection against that. There we go. Very nice. Oh, look! <laughs> he had a heart attack. 
Couldn't take it anymore. Awesome. Hey, we're going to make it through this one with our B squad. Excellent job, guys. A lot Why of you need heals now. Inside. Yeah. Okay. That was unexpected. Uh, we have a lot of damaged people. You may be outnumbered, but you still have centuries of tactical knowledge within your immortal mind. You make your minions count for once in their miserable existence. By the end, the dwarf was on his knees, surrounded by mounds of corpses which soon come to life. And his former thralls rip him apart limb from limb. You always had an appreciation for irony. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got some... Did we get new minions? Yeah, we did. We got a couple of new minions out of that fight, actually. Uh, now we're in a bit of a situation where we have a, quite a few people who are hurt. She didn't heal after that because it was a quest? I guess? I'm... I'm not... 100%. This guy, I don't really know if I care if he heals or not. Uh, however, what we could do... If we get all of our hurt people into a single squad here... I don't really want to take all the armor. Can I fill this with just like, generic shit? It's no goal, but it will do. That's not a lot of health. Like, basically at all. It's getting these guys back up there, though. Alright, she can come out. He can go in. I am going to hold on to these points until we can do something actually useful with them. Here I'm just going to go for some more attack. And here I'm just going to go for more dread. The mummy, I don't really know much about the mummy. His accuracy needs to go up past 100 though, so let's just take care of that. Alright. Well... We've got some talent points. We're trying just to get down here. One more point and we'll have finished this off. We, might, we want to start working our way down towards... There's so much in here. There's so much that you can do. Um, it's worth it kind of just to grab this. This is going to allow, allow us to lay down physical damage on positions 1 and 2 with Aratus. Good for breaking the armor of enemies. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that. I don't want to sacrifice any minions right now, although we could. We could sacrifice some minions. Oh, sorry. We just got a couple of them. So let's do that. It's something that I rarely do. But let's throw in one of these wraiths. Five mana and five wrath restored each time a dark knight receives damage. The start of combat. Deals 30 to 45 stress damage to all enemies, one time use. Let's take that, I guess. It might be useful. Now, is that an item that Erratus equips? It embellishes my undead features. That could be a good one-time use. Is my undead features, <clears throat> no? Yeah, we heard you say that before. Uh, we're gonna go the long way. We're gonna go through here. Let's choose our primary battle squad this time, just so that nothing silly happens. <laughs> oh, right off the bat, because of that consumable item, they both... Uh, they both went into betrayal mode. Well, he went into panic, he went into betrayal. That's, uh, that's amazing. He's in sinister stance. Ha! <laughs> Big swing and a miss, buddy. Good way to start. That was a good way to start, though. Backstab that broke her armor. 
She's asleep. That's awful. Very awful. Oh, we're missing everything right now. Shit. Let's give her some armor just in case. Yeah. He got an extra attack because the guy has a buff on him, so he'll attack twice unless there's a buff, then he'll attack an additional time. That was nice. Quite, let's finish them off with Bone Spear. It should take out this guy. This wretch. Use some mana. Excellent. Yes! Oh, I love it when they backstab each other. She wants to run away already. We are making short work of these guys. He needs to, like, move forward. He can heal himself, that'll get him back into the action. Very well done, guys. A sad display for mortal kind. Gains 100 wrath right at the beginning of the battle. That's pretty amazing. We've apparently never encountered the Adamon before. Add it to the Humatorium. It's pretty much the bestiary for humans. Alright, you have some new stat points. Uh, what do I want to do with you, though? I think I'm just going to save for some more attack power. You, on the other hand, could use some armor of the physical variety. It costs so much to give her, like, actual armor stats. Um, let's give her some more health. I feel like that's a good choice. Uh, we're still waiting on a talent point. Uh, who do I want to train here? It's always kind of a question. We could put our Bone Golem in for training. We could move our Blood Phantasm back into the group. She can come out. I do want to get these guys a small heal. Alright, let's go here. So the Stell contains the records of past battles, which can be used to raise levels of minions or of Aratus himself. I tend to focus on my minions. However, um, we're kind of behind with Aratus. I'm going to go with my minions still. Get them, get them power leveled up for my first group here. Uh, we're gonna hold on to what you've got for now. You know, maybe some initiative might not be good, but What do I really want to go for is I just want to get the another point in strength, so I'm still gonna hold on He gets hit a lot I feel like He gets hit quite a bit too And she just needs to hit a lot. Let's see how that works. 
got an elite in this group and a guy that we maybe not has have not come across before. Uh, let's see. Demolition expert starting strong with a big miss. And we've got the headsman here, who's 150 health, a lot of attack power. He doesn't got any physical or magical armor though, so... Let's just start dealing some damage. You're probably noticing that down here, this little buff is just the class specific feature. It's not a buff, it's a feature of each class. So like the Bride of Aratus, she has more luck against female enemies. Skeleton is immune to all buffs and debuffs, we've already seen that. The Dark Knight cannot be critically hit. And if we lose the Blood Phantasm, he actually restores 33 vigor to everyone left alive. So it's kind of a good stopgap. Uh, we're going to go ahead, can we... Let's bust up the order a little bit here maybe. Can we do that? Yeah, I think we get him away might be a little bit of a better idea. Let's get us back into the action on the Dark Knight. Now we gotta be careful about moving since he's in that stance. Yeah, see, any move is gonna trigger that, so that's kinda tricky. Yikes. <laughs> well, he loved that. Impale this wretch. I want to see if maybe we could take him out with this swing. Yes, thank you. Still got the one back there. He's still guarding. He'll probably hit us if we continue to move. So let's just not move. Three attacks. Oh, because he had the buff. Okay. Perfect. Uh, our Dark Knight's not hurt. We don't need to use Abysmal Hunger. Let's just get rid of this guy. Brave are an excellent source of fresh corpses. He is in a stance that's probably going to deal a shit ton of damage to us unless we can stop him. I wonder if this will interrupt his stance. It didn't, but it made him terrified. That didn't really help us. Let's try that again. Okay, there we go. We got him. He's got shit ton of armor absorbed when he's in that mode. Look at that. 14 armor. I think we should be able to break that, but... Interrupt stances, yeah. He didn't take damage, but we got him out of the stance. But we still just miss everything and get absorbed. Uh, yeah, so he just has a shit ton of armor by default, I guess. We probably need magical attacks, but we don't have them with this party. So we're just gonna keep inching away at his health. There we go. Just took a little bit of extra time. As your suffering ends, your oh, service a level begins. six brain. That's that's incredible. That means we can get a new minion who's level zero basically and turn them immediately into a level six. I like to hang on to my brains until we lose somebody critical so that we can replace them. Like if our Dark Knight were to go down, we could immediately use that brain to make another level six Dark Knight. So that's kind of how I like to use my brains. Uh, if we used it now, it'd be a waste. We'd get him one level. We can get a level 1 guy 5 levels, so we're going to save this. Stats, uh, yeah. Attack power, please. He doesn't have any items. I'd love to at least give him one of these, since we seem to have plenty. And this is Dark Knight only, so we might as well give him that. And that's going to give uh, Eratus mana and wrath each time that we take damage on this Dark Knight.
All right, thinking about what's going on out in the graveyard, we need to get some things situated. Let's put the Blood Phantasm back in there. That's fine. Ooh, we didn't have anybody training. That's kind of a big miss. I don't know who I really need to have training, but you always want to have somebody in there. Let's just put our mummy in there for now. It's a unit that I am familiar enough with it that I might actually use it. Talents uh, in alchemy. We might as well grab this. The will becomes free. Next, we will probably work our way down to brains. Because brains are good. Especially for replacing uh, lost squad mates. Sanctuary where one can collect digger souls. I've never interacted with this thing before. It's brand new to me. I'm going to go up here and see. The digger souls are what we need to build the buildings in the graveyard. So, Okay, yeah, we just collect them. That's perfect. Now, we have a couple of different decisions here. We can go left or we can go right. Uh, we can scout ahead and kind of see what we're in for. I like to go where there are stells. It's free experience. So I'm, I'm looking at going this way. Let's do at least one more battle here. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, I'd love to get their armor down, but he's, in the, he's out of position. Let's just buff up. I already know the guy up front has a shit ton of armor, so like focusing on him seems like a bad idea. He doesn't do a lot of damage, so I'm kind of going to focus on the other guys, including uh, the elite Taskmaster back there, who's probably going to give us a shit ton of problems. Yeah, he's already in defensive stance. That's that's fine. Uh, we have a trap. Not not great. We've taken a shit ton of damage already in our Dark Knight. I don't like that. Let's get everybody with a crit. Ah, your frail bodies fail you. I didn't know that crits could be blocked by armor. That might be a huge change that has happened. Oh, okay. Well, it's fine. We knocked him out of the stance. We took some additional damage from the trap that we didn't really need to do. But we got the headsman down right away, so... Uh, I'm gonna do bone shield here. On our dark knight to give him some additional physical armor. He's back in defensive stance. <laughs> Blocked. Look at that. How do you like them apples? Let's go ahead and maybe we'll target this Taskmaster. Oh, we're going to lose a skeleton. I need to get his health back, so let's use Abysmal, hun Abysmal Hunger. Look at that. I really just need him to move, so let's do a self-heal and get him, oh, get him back, oh no, the movement damage and the trap damage, but I needed him to be somewhere that we can actually uh, hit him, or hit with him rather. Trap's broken, this guy's buffed up. Impale this wretch. I'm gonna use smite on this guy because it'll hit three times since he's buffed. Let's do that. Perfect. And then her I'm gonna use back here. One more for the stockpiles. Alright, good job. And we can't charge in because we're gonna take damage if we do that, but we have a block, so let's eat it. Yeah, look at that. We should have broke with that. We should have broke his stance. Kill, my darling, kill. 
but it's okay. I think we got him anyway. Good job, team. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's been pretty successful. It's been a pretty successful episode, actually, despite some minor mistakes that we've made. Skeleton's level 26, that means, or level 6, that means he gets his next ability point. So when I think about what we've been using, show them their place. Stuns the target instead of interrupting stances, that could be good. Deals more damage but stuns the target. Or, sorry, deals more damage but just interrupts stances still. Ignores armor and block. Doesn't miss. I think I'm going to take this stun. And give him some additional luck. He's got two stats. Uh, let's go ahead... Just give him some attack power. Here, uh, we just need to go with some actual physical armors. And then resistances for magic. Our bride hit level 6. Her points are going to get saved. But, we can uh, kind of pick what we want next here. If it crits, it'll stun for a turn. If it crits with this one, it'll deal more damage. This is her magical attack that we haven't used. We could go ahead and buff that. It would give us another attack power. So I'm going to do well, that. My minion. Yeah, out here we need to... Uh, we need to get this going. Now we have two slots to put injured minions in. So we need to get our skeleton in here. We need to get our uh, bone golem in there. It's going to be much more useful. Um, up here, we have our mummy training. He can stay in there. Some of these other buildings I'm just never entirely sure about. I want to open this up a little bit more. So we can go ahead and let's create another zombie with only common parts. They will be expecting cannon uh, fodder, because we're gonna be... but I will give them cannons instead. Uh, okay, yeah, you, that's fine. Alright, so they'll keep working to dig up supplies and whatnot. That's perfectly fine. That's the abode of wrath. This one, each minion studying gives a wrath. We need, we need this like immediately. Next thing, probably should have already prioritized it. This is a bonus experience for Aratus for every minion studying in the library. We're gonna jump on that next. This is the digger souls. So maybe the digger souls are different. Those, the digger, digger souls, are what we need. What are we getting from excavation? Just parts. Okay, parts, digger souls, Aratus experience. Wrath at the beginning of battle. Okay. And then over here, mana at, at the beginning of battle. Okay. Yeah, let's take a little bit of a break here. When we come back, as you can see, we've still got a lot to do. We'll remake our party with something that works best. Um, I think we're going to swing north here. I like all these soul springs. I like the stell. I wonder if we can come this way and then go this way. That's kind of what I want to do. We'll see how that works. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate the support. It does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you're having fun with the game. Let me know what you think. If you're having your own playthroughs, I'd be curious to hear your thoughts on party composition and things like that. So yeah, I hope you're taking care of yourselves as well and that you are well. So hopefully we will see you again soon. Bye now.